This is preseason training tape number 14, dealing with illegal twists. The quick ref stats tell us that last season, twists were the most reviewed call all season long. They're one of the toughest calls we have to make. Umpires, I pity you. Referees, you got to help them out. So let's start off looking at some just basic illegal twists. Here we go. Here we've got the umpire's bread and butter. Watch what the nose does. He's going to twist to the outside. The ball's in the alley. We get a flag down. That's a correct call. On this play, we're at fourth and two or less. So, of course, the belt re reduces. We see the backer up there on the line to game, which is the 16. This is an umpire's bread and butter. This is the easiest twist we've seen all year. The ball's in the alley. The twist occurs. we got to get that. Let's watch it develop slow. I know we're new learning these things, but this is the umpire's bread and butter. Good job setting the belt. But as soon as this ball is snapped, we've got the illegal twist. The right end goes inside. The nose goes outside. There it is, and the ball's in the alley. we got to have a flag down. Referee, could you help on this? Monster twist. Umpire looking right at it. No flag on the ground. We got to get these. End comes inside and attacks the quarterback. That is an illegal twist. We got to get 100% of these. Okay, we'll stop the picture. Perfect mechanics. Umpire lined up at six. We like to say you are in the linebacker's hip pocket. And he's still pointing, even though there's only one backer at the back of the box. It's a good habit to point every play. It just becomes rote memory. Now, we are going to have an illegal twist here. We'll see it happen. Umpire, you got to see that. The two ends twist. Referee saves the, saves the day here with a call. Here's an illegal twist. The ball's in the alley. Referee is all over this. Watch our nose. He's going to go left. The end gets blocked inside. The ball's in the alley, and the twist forces the quarterback and the ball out of the alley. If challenged, we would confirm the call on the field. Good focus by a ref here. Illegal twist. Good call. 99's the nose. He goes right. 19's the defensive end. He goes in. The ball's in the alley. Ref flag. Umpire flag. Ruling on the field's a touchdown. The penalty's declined. 99 goes outside. 19 comes inside. The ball was in the alley. Excellent focus. Excellent call. Illegal twist. Illegal twist. Right off the bat, we see it. We see the nose go wide. Ball still in the alley. We need a flag. Umpire's bread and butter. The referee can help on this when he sees that nose coming wide like that. Someone's got to pick this up. And because twists are the most reviewed plays of the season and I expect that to continue this season they're very tough calls maybe if we break it down and show you the process we can get better at detecting these twists on the field and if we don't we're going to show you the process in review on how you should how how you should handle these challenges when you're under the hood all right let's take a look at some of the plays illegal twist very very difficult play to get live more difficult in replay do we have an illegal twist here by rule? We absolutely do. And if we didn't have a flag down on this play, what would we do in review? And this is how we're going to do it when we review the play. We are going to apply very strict guidelines in review to create or confirm the foul. Let's take a look. So before we go into the telestrations, what are the three major things we need to create the illegal twist? First, we have to have the two defensive players twisting. Second, we have to have the two defensive players penetrate the line of scrimmage. And that could be just by a foot. If we can see it, it's penetration. And three, the ball has to be in the alley when the twist occurs. And also note, if a coach is screaming at you, Hey, our nose here, he got blocked outside. It doesn't matter. You can be blocked into a twist. So just put that argument aside, coaches. If you're blocked into a twist, it's still in a twist. So what are the three things we need? 
We need the two defenders to twist, to cross. We need them to penetrate, which happens here, and we need the ball to be in the alley when the twist occurs. All right, let's telestrate. In review, what do we need to know? We need to know where the line of scrimmage is, right? We need to know the confines of the alley. Now, on this particular play, the camera's not going to move, so we're going to be able to keep the telestrations up. So let's look at our nose guard and our right defensive end, okay? Look at those two guys. They have twisted right there. Did the nose guard penetrate? Well, we can see his right foot has penetrated the five-yard line, right? The ball was snapped at the five, so he has penetrated. The two players have twisted. And I know the two, the, the, uh, two ends can twist, too. It's rare we see it, but it doesn't necessarily always have to be the nose guard and an end. The two ends could twist. But in any event, we see the twist. Our right end has penetrated. Our nose guard has penetrated. Remember, we know where the five-yard line is, and we can see that foot in the corner. And the ball is still in the alley, so we could create the foul if not called on the field. And that's going to be your process in review. Ball's in the alley. We have a twist. We do. And we see penetration. We do. The ball's still in the alley. We are going to create the foul. Let's look at another one. Correct call for an illegal twist. We're going to see the right defensive end drop into coverage and the two remaining players twist. Umpire looking right at it. There's the twist. The ball's in the alley. Good job. Notice mechanically our umpire is pointing to the declaring linebacker. Even though there's only one backer back there, it's a good habit to get into. Point every play, and then you won't forget to do it. Now, what happens if we go to review? Again, the process. We draw the confines of the alley. We're going to watch the play progress. The ball is still in the alley. The ball is still in the alley. The two players here have now twisted. Right? You can have a twist even though he's gone into coverage. The ball's in the alley. We're looking at the two players. The twist occurs. Even if he's helped in into the twist a little bit by the blocker, it doesn't matter. But the ball's in the alley. The twist has occurred, and we get a flag. This is a correct call. Good focus. Referees and umpires, you see the big illegal twist here? Our referee does. He puts a flag on the ground. The center and the right defensive end twist. They both penetrate. The ball is in the alley. That is a correct call. If we went to review, what would we do? First thing we do from this shot, we want to make sure the two players penetrate the line of scrimmage. They both do. The ball is snapped here, what, at about the 14? So we know where the line of scrimmage is. And then they both penetrated the 15-yard line minimally. So we've got the penetration. We see the quarterback has just simply dropped straight back, so the ball is in the alley. We have the twist. We could create this if the referee did not have a flag down. We wouldn't even have to go to the end zone shot. Here's the umpire's perspective. He sees it. And he flags it. There's the illegal twist. There's the flag. Referee sees it too. Good job. Funny thing is here, the player says, I was blocked into the twist. This player obviously doesn't watch training tapes because we know even though you're blocked into the twist here, see the nose taken to the outside with a block, it is still a twist. And if we went to review real quick, we set the confines of the alley, right? We're watching the nose guard. He's blocked outside. The ball is still in the alley when the twist occurs, and we would confirm this illegal twist if challenged. Good focus by the crew here getting this live. And here's a twist we missed. Ball's in the alley. The twist occurs. That opens up to the umpire. we got to have a flag down. This was challenged. Let's look at the end zone shot. And here's the review process. Again, the alley. Let's look for the twist. Camera's going to back off a little bit, I think, here. But we know where the alley is. The twist occurs when that right defensive end goes into the middle. All right, we're going to watch him loop inside, even though he's blocked that way. Now he does it kind of on his own, but he's blocked. 
and the ball remains in the alley, so we would create this foul if challenged. Know the process. Watch the patience of the umpire getting the illegal twist. Look at the nose, goes wide left. The ball is still in the alley, and we get a flag for an illegal twist. That's a correct call. If challenged, we go to review, and what do we do? We know our process. We got the alley, right, the confines of the alley, so we know where that is. We're looking for when the twist occurs, and we also know the ball has not left the alley. He's just dancing around back there. Let's see when the twist occurs. The twist has more than occurred right now, and we see the ball is still in the alley. And, hey, there it is. Excellent call by the umpire. You've got to be patient on, the, patient on these many times. But we like this call, and if it was challenged, we'd confirm it. Good work. Illegal twist. Does our umpire see it? He sure does. Do you see it? Watch the nose guard. He's going to go outside. Doesn't matter that he's blocked outside. The ball's in the alley. Umpire puts a flag on the ground and continues to officiate the play. Let's take a look again. If we went to review, we could do it from this camera parallax. What's the process? Confines of the alley. Is the ball still in the alley when the twist occurs? Let's watch the nose. Remember, if he's blocked into the twist, it doesn't matter. He's now outside. He's looped around. The end's gone inside. The ball is in the alley. If this went to review, we would confirm the twist. I'm good, so sick of the good, damn twist. Good, be quiet. Good call by the umpire here. I'm not laughing. <laughs> so sick. And we'll close out the video looking at some plays that are not twists. we got to know what a twist is, but more importantly, what a twist is not. And remember, if the ball's being released when the twist occurs, we don't want a flag on the ground. So let's take a look at some of the plays that might help us along. Here we go. As an umpire, when you see your uh, right defensive end here, immediately at the snap, go inside, and your nose go to the outside like he does here, you got to have an illegal twist, right? Step four, let's look at the sideline view. And watch the ball, the snap hits the ground. Therefore, there can be no illegal twist or illegal blitz. All bets are off. So correct no call by the crew. Start it out. Remember, umpires, when you see that right defensive end immediately dart inside like he does here and the nose go to the outside, you got an illegal twist, except the ball hit the ground. Correct no call. Just a tip. When you're behind the quarterback, it's not an illegal twist. He's just continuing his rush here, attacking the quarterback from behind. It's not an illegal twist. And besides the fact the ball is out of the alley when the no nose guard moved to his left anyway. So, not a twist. Ball's out of the alley. So, uh, just keep that in mind. When the defensive end has a deep rush and a beat on the quarterback, as he does here, what's he supposed to do? Go straight up the field? Nope. The twist can't occur behind the quarterback. We want it in front of the quarterback, so clarify it a little better for you. But in any event, the ball goes out of the alley as soon as that nose guard goes to his left. Ball's out of the alley. So on that count, it's not a twist either. Let's watch the uh, nose guard and the right guard here. Illegal twist. Ball's in the alley. Easy call, right? There's the twist. Ball's in the alley. Why no flag down here? Let's look at it again. We know the rule. All twist and blitz restrictions are off when the ball hits the ground. Look at the ball. Hits the ground. So no foul for a legal twist. Good rules knowledge by the crew. Let's watch the right defensive end in the nose. Do we have an illegal twist here that we're going to call? We do not. When the twist occurs right there, the ball's in the alley. But the quarterback has released it. This is not big enough. In review, we wouldn't create it. Remember, what do we want to do? We want to set the confines of the alley when we're going in review. When we're going slow, we're going to watch the nose and the defensive end blocked into the twist. The twist has occurred, but the ball's gone. It's got to be a little bigger. If the, if the quarterback pumps it here and then reloads, we would create the foul. But he got rid of it pretty quick as the twist is occurring. Just want the coaches to know we're not going to create this in review. It's not big enough per philosophy. Just compare this to the uh, Week 12 Part 1 training tape 
where the quarterback we thought might have been wrapped up but was not, we created the twist. Here, balls away as the twist occurs, just not big enough. It's really close, just not big enough. So good patience by the umpire. The twist has right there, but the ball's going away. No effect on the play. We're letting that go. Top of the screen, we see it's fourth and two or less. The umpire has set the reduced belt at the line to gain. Good job. And the quarterback's going to be tackled. Looks like the ball is in the alley. Almost escapes there. But we think we've got a turnover on downs, right? Until the offensive coach decides to challenge that an illegal twist has occurred. So, we go to review, and what do we see? Do we see a twist? Looks like the right defensive end is going to come around. Right there is the twist, and we can create the foul. Now, let's analyze this. If this is the only shot we have in review, we know where the edges of the alley are. Whoops, wrong animation. Edges of the alley, right? So, first thing we got to know is when the twist is going to occur is the ball in the alley. What we're going to have is our defensive end loop around. Is the ball in the alley? Well, it looks like it's going out, but he cuts back in. The ball is still in the alley, and here comes the twist. We can see our end coming around. The twist has occurred. Now, if we were saying our quarterback is wrapped up and going down and we're ready to spot the ball there, we're not going to create the twist. It's not big enough. But the quarterback is very elusive. Looks like he's going to escape right here. The twist has already occurred, and we're not ready to put the quarterback down. Looks like he might be able to escape, therefore the twist will be created. He eventually goes down. Good job by the crew creating this. Watch it in slow-mo. We know the edges of the alley. The ball remains in the alley the whole time. The twist from the end is about to occur. It has occurred right there. And the quarterback looks like he might be able to escape. Ultimately, he does not correct creation of the foul illegal twist. Good job by the crew. I told you, twists are very difficult, even for the veteran officials. We've got four, count them, four brand new crews working this season. So, you're going to have a tough time with these calls initially. But if you keep grinding, keep working hard, They'll become second nature to you. That's all we can ask. Keep working hard, watching tape, let it become second nature. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Thank you for your attention.